Alright, time for a few minor side quests and whatnot. Because, for once, I've actually decided to plan ahead. And so I pretty much have everything left that I haven't done in the game written down, and I have like a little timeline set up for in what order I'm going to do everything. And so this segment will be starting off in Mega City, because I haven't been there in a while. Maybe, I don't even remember the last time I've been there. It was probably like three minutes ago. Okay, first part is... Actually, since I'm nearby, I'm going to go check out the museum first. Because I've mentioned the museum before and never gone in it. Because, to be honest, it's not all that exciting. But I do want to show off everything in this game, and it is important to the storyline. You have to pay entrance fee. No period. Here we've got some sort of sad music. Alright, notice all these blocks laying around. They might not look like anything important, but they will come into play later. Yeah, I hear you, man. Well, actually, I don't, since I've never had any sort of job, because I'm a freeloader. But, yeah, I can imagine that standing around saying, hey, don't touch that, would be a pretty boring job. Unless, of course, you're the guard at the movie theater that they refer to in the Futurama commentary for this one episode, where apparently they were going to this, they were going to see the movie Alien, like when it first um, was being shown, and then there was this like this cardboard cutout out of it, and this guy kept saying, "Don't touch it, don't touch it," and then when the movie was over, they came out and the thing was already on fire. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that was a completely off-topic story. So this means he didn't to watch it. Once again, no period, and I can't move. I have to st walk into him. Pointless interlude. We've got some dancing dude. Santa. Fat bald guy. Yeah, man, attraction's gone. Well, I'm getting it back for you. Doesn't even seem to react that I have three-quarters of the Triforce with me in my infinite bag of holding. I am destroying museum property. And all for what? This. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. You can kill all the bats, and they don't drop anything. It's mostly here just to resemble one of those classic Zelda item rum things. Why would that be here? It's because this museum wasn't always a museum. It actually was a temple at one point, as I'm sure we'll find somewhere. I think there's a sign somewhere that says that I might have already passed it. I haven't even been paying attention to any of the dialogue. Let's see what this one says. Original temple, yeah. I don't want to go down because... If I go back into the room with the um, place where you have to pay, I'd have to pay again. Colorful blocks, what their I don't have any idea what their purpose is. Well, nobody would until they get to that part of the game, and then they'd pretty much want to kill everything. I guess, I don't know. It seems like the text was written as if, like, before you get any of this stuff. Ah. Yes, this is the Temple of Hyrule. And so some of you out there are probably wondering, well, how could this be Hyrule if Mega Man's here? Well, apparently this takes place in the future of, like, Hyrule's history, so... That's why it's all here. I thought that was pretty cool how they sort of animated going down. I don't know. Little things like that interest me. Okay, this staircase... I'll go in just to show you a little bit of it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, now. 
Yeah, it's it's just another tunnel. And it comes out somewhere, I'm not going to say where. It it's it's a dead end once you've gotten there though, so yeah. Oh what what the crap. Okay, I guess that was it for the museum, so Oh man. Alright. To get out the wait, no, I can save. That should take me to the entrance of Mega City. Okay. So anyway, now that that little boring adventure is over, I can continue with more boring adventures. Such as shopping for super bombs. Because, you know, that's really, really fun to watch. times now. Hello, old friend. You've been a constant source of mockery. Where is that bomb shot? Here it is. Alright, so now I can finally bomb buy some super bombs. The number of super bombs you can hold is equal to how many bombs you can hold divided by four. So, you usually start out with a max of eight bombs. Since I've bought two upgrades, I can now hold four super bombs. I don't know if I'll ever need that many, but I have them anyway. And it seems like they still have those Super Metroid power bombs on the shelves. Because in an earlier version of this game, the super bombs were those power bombs. Which I think I've already mentioned, but I can't remember if I did or not. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave the city now, because even though I got a bazillion heart pieces in the last segment, there's still a few more that I can obtain. And I was going to use the whistle to get it around, but I just remembered I can actually swim now. There is a block that I can't break yet. Oh, and there's that cave. Funny how that worked out. Okay, um... Be my guess that the heart piece, or uh, there's got to be something hidden in the water here. I don't really feel like searching for it all day, but I do know that it is here. Come on. Really should have my map open for this. Come on. Uh, okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm sure I just barely missed it a couple times. But I don't want to pause the recording to check the map. It's, it's I think, 50 rupees. Nice, but definitely not necessary since I already have a ton of money. I do know that there is a heart piece I can get, though. I don't think I've been here. Go. It's so hard to tell where I have and haven't. Oh god, more Geodudes. My worst enemies. Where's this go out to? Oh yeah, this place you can... has more of those weird square rocks. So, I'd be able to get back here later once I can destroy those, but since I can't destroy them now, I'll just go into the cave, and I really gotta find that heart piece, because I have achieved nothing in this segment. I'd like to at least have something to show for it, other than the super bombs that I bought. Come on, where is that thing? This looks like another exit. Oh, okay, it feeds out here. Yeah, I get that one. And funny thing here, you can't go back in this cave. I'm guessing it's because of all these pits on the screen. There's already a tile warp set, but the thing is that he does more than one tile warp on some other screens. So anyway, here's another one I can get by hoot shotting across there. And some more caves. 
which hopefully I'll get through in time. I have a little under a minute. Uh, it's probably over there, isn't it? Come on. Yep, there it is. So I'll grab that, get out of here, and I guess that'll wrap things up for now. Next time will be more random side quests, I guess. I don't want to start anything too serious. And now I'm in this area. Well, that was fun. I'll just end on that.